Holy shit. It is so good to see you. <laughs> I have missed you guys so, so much. Uh, I am so excited to be back here with you. Um, it's good to be home. And I'm really ready to just start working again and making videos for you guys and interacting with you guys. I know I, uh, I wasn't really available while I was away as far as like responding to comments on the videos and whatnot. But um, I really wanted my time away to be time away. And I didn't really want to be on social media that much. Um, so I hope you guys understand that. And um, I apologize if um, I didn't respond to you as I typically would going forward. I will definitely be more active in the comments section. So please feel free to say hello to me. Uh, tell me what's on your mind. So uh, tonight is not really going to be an ASMR video per se. What I'd like to do is really just talk to you guys, just a little chit chat. Um, it's kind of what I'm in the mood for tonight and hopefully you don't mind. I might tap on a couple things for you, but I think mainly I'm just going to speak. I might, I might whisper a little bit, but um, that's what's gonna go on tonight. And before I start, I just want to say thank you to my Patreon members. Uh, I'm so grateful for you guys. You are what keeps me going. You allow me to do this. So I truly owe you and I cannot thank you enough. So if you're a patron and you're watching, I love you and thank you. So before I start telling you about New York, I have another little story for you. <laughs> uh, so I was sitting down watching Blue Bloods tonight in my living room, right? And as I'm sitting there, I hear a squeak. And I didn't think much of it the first time, right? So I start watching TV again, and maybe about a minute goes by. And I hear the squeak again. And at first I'm like, maybe it's the fan in the window? Because sometimes that squeaks, but not normally that loud. So I'm starting to get a little worried because I've had squirrels in here before. Well, yeah, squirrels, plural. Um, so I'm thinking it's a squirrel. So I get up off the couch and I'm walking around looking for a squirrel. And just when I'm about to give up, I was walking back into the living room and I walked by my shoes and I just so happened to peek down and look and I saw this little brown fuzzy thing in between two of my sneakers. And I'm like, that's not normally there. What is that? So I bend over, right? I get a little bit closer. And it moves. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me right now. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Started freaking out a little bit. So I moved the shoe back. And sitting underneath the shoe is a bat. <sighs> that son of a bitch. <laughs> I got very lucky that it wasn't flying around and it didn't move when I moved the shoe. It just sat there. So I was like, all right, stay. Give me a moment. I'm going to go get a cup and I'm going to trap you. So that's what I did. I got a cup, put it over, and then I put a shoe on top of it. And I thought to myself, what am I going to do with this little bat? So I, um, I had a cardboard box lying around and I ripped off one of the flaps like that folds over the top. And I just slid it underneath the cup, right? So cardboard, bat, cup. And I picked it up like that and I brought it downstairs into like the main foyer how you enter the building and I just cracked the door open a little bit with my shoulder because it normally isn't closed all the way because people suck and they don't close it. It's probably how the damn bat caught in. But anyways, I just nudged it open and just like flipped the cup and threw the bat out the door and then closed the door really quick. <sighs> what a, what a night. I had to get a bat out of my apartment. My brother actually lives in the building across from me, and he also had a bat in his apartment. 
but I don't know what he did with it. I don't know if he killed it or if he, you know, did what I did and just threw it out a window or something. But yeah, squirrels and bats. That's what I have to deal with in this godforsaken apartment. I'm just thankful that when I threw it out the door, it didn't like fly back at me and latch onto my face and eat me alive. I'm lucky I'm here talking to you right now. Yeah. But anyways, that's how I spent my night. So now I'm a little freaked out that a bat's gonna be like flying around. Watch, I'm filming for you. And a bat just goes flying by and attacks me. Keep your fingers crossed for me, please. Anyways, that's the bat story. So, now we're going to move on to New York. Um, I don't know how interested you'll be in hearing what I have to say, but a couple people did want me to just kind of go over what I did uh, in New York on my vacation. Um, I don't really do anything that exciting typically when I go. Um, it's mainly just to visit family, and I go once a year, normally in the summer. I would like to start going on a more frequent basis. That would be very nice. Uh, but it's usually in June or July. And when I go, I stay with my aunt and uncle. They're very generous and let me and my brother stay with them. Um, for about a couple weeks uh, They have a very beautiful home And they have two fantastic boys um, They're blessed, they're smart, they're funny uh, They're, you know, they're just fun to hang out with They're really into video games So we play a lot of, like, Nintendo Switch And uh, they have a Wii system down in their basement So uh, when they can get a, a chance to play with us, they do They'll run up and be like, you want to play? Uh, so we, we play Mario Kart. That's like their favorite game. Um, and you can't go wrong with Mario Kart. It's a classic. I played it when I was a kid growing up. Um, so it's kind of like nostalgia. It's really fun to play. So yeah, I stay with my aunt and uncle. And basically every day um, from start to finish is just running around hanging out with family members. <laughs> Um, we get up very early every morning and kind of make plans for the day um, and just go out and do stuff. We uh, go out to eat a lot. Uh, if you're from New York or the Buffalo area, pizza and wings are like a staple in a Buffalonian's diet. So pizza and wings are a must. There's a few local restaurants that we um, hit every time because they're amazing and you just gotta do it. One of those places is called Zorba's. Um, if any of you are from like the Lancaster, Depew, Cheektowaga area and you know Zorba's, let me know <laughs> because they have fantastic chili dogs. Um, so we go and get the chili dogs there and the french fries because they give you like a bag of french fries. So yeah, I got a little fat while I was away, but since I've been home, I've been super strict on my diet again, and it's paying off already, so, but yeah, so restaurants, bowling, bowling is, I could bowl every day, I love it so much, uh, so we did a lot of bowling, I posted a picture of that on Instagram of my score, the best game I bowled, I think, was a 190 and then the second best game I bowled was like a 187 or something like that um, and it usually only bowls my brother most of my other family members are getting a little bit older now and they can't quite do the bowling which sucks I did bowl with my mom though and she's pretty good so that was fun but yeah when I go I usually see my aunt and uncle my mother my grandma my sister, uh, who I love very much. It's always fantastic to see my sister. I spent as much time as I could with her this year. Um, 
She's usually very busy when we visit. She works. Um, and she typically can't get a lot of time off from work. So she was actually able to get a week off this year, which was fantastic. And we spent a lot of time with her. Um, I actually uh, went down to Lake Erie with her and my grandmother, my mom and my brother. And they have like these old um, wartime ships, like a, a destroyer ship and a submarine. And then a, a smaller ship. It's kind of like in between the sub and the destroyer. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, but you can pay to go on them, and it's actually very, very cool. Um, they're older ships, so they're not like super high tech, or you know, like the latest advancements in boats and submarines. But it's just really cool, especially the submarine, um, to just go on on the deck and see all the cannons and the guns and everything. Um, and the submarine it's super tight and like narrow and i just could not imagine being in those like confined close quarters underneath the water it's just crazy if you ever get the chance to to do something like that i highly recommend it it's so cool um i don't know but like aviation maritime stuff those kinds of things that really like really fascinates me um, another thing that I like to do is I love to go to um, air shows there's one in Portsmouth New Hampshire that I go to uh, I haven't been to it in a while actually it might be going on now that I think about it it's typically in the summer I think I'm gonna try to do that if you've never been to an air show it's it's awesome they have like fighter jets and the cargo planes and just everything you can like think of just out on display and I don't know about other air shows but the one that I go to they also um, they do like an actual air show where they fly planes and whatnot like the fighter jets and the old prop planes and they do like, you know, like the aerial aerial acrobatics and stuff like that. And it's just so cool to watch. Then there's a couple larger planes that you can actually go on and walk through, kind of like the boats. And it's just so cool. I love seeing it. I'm sorry about my neighbors. It's that time of night, so. I hate them so much, I want to kill them. Oh my God, I hope, I hope they watch this video and they hear me say I want to kill them so they know right so they know that would be great I should just go tell them right now shouldn't I what do you think I'd really like to tell them that I freaked out on them a couple times there's actually it's kind of embarrassing to tell you this but there's actually a hole in my ceiling <laughs> because I was trying to sleep one night was like 2 30 in the morning right and they woke me up because they were just like banging it sounded like it sounded like they were dropping bowling balls on the floor i literally thought they were gonna come through the floor so i was just so pissed because i gave them like five minutes to see if they would shut up they didn't shut up it just got louder so I jumped up out of bed and I jumped up and I punched the fucking ceiling pretty damn hard so they would know that I wasn't fucking around right and uh, it left a pretty good hole in my ceiling it's so lovely to look at I love it so much it just brings the room together you know it just gives it something so glad it's there. Not really. I hate it. It looks atrocious. I should probably say something and have the landlord fix it, don't you think? It's probably a good idea. So much to do, so little time. <laughs> Anyways, so that, that was basically my trip to New York. It's just spending time with my family and enjoying their company 
and enjoying good food with them. Just hanging out in the sunshine, you know. It was especially important for me to go this year because, um, some of you might know, my mother, um, recently battled and beat breast cancer, um, over this past year. Last summer when I left New York, she was, um, basically just being diagnosed with cancer, and she found out that she needed chemotherapy and all that fun stuff. Um, and I was actually with her to go have the meeting with her doctor to basically decide to have surgery, um, a mastectomy, and start chemotherapy treatment. So that's how I left my mother last year, and, you know, the only real contact I have with her is over the telephone, so I just felt so terrible that she was going through chemo and battling cancer, and I couldn't be there for her. It was a really difficult to have to go through, and I wasn't even the one with the cancer, you know, so I really, really needed to go to New York this summer to see her and just make sure that she was okay and doing well, and she is, she's doing great, she looks great, her hair is already coming back in, you know, it's probably about, no, it's not even that long. I don't even know how to describe how long it is, but she, like, dyed it a lighter color, too, and it looks really pretty on her, and I think that she could, she should keep her hair uh, that length and that color. Um, she also lost some weight, uh, obviously, due to the chemo, but, um, you know, she's starting to eat better again, and she looks really good now, and she's doing fantastic, and I'm just so... I was so happy to see her, just happy and, you know, just enjoying life, so that was the main reason that I wanted to go to New York this year, um, so I'm so happy that I got to, and I really want to go back, I think I am going to eventually move back there, um, I, I mean, my brother and my father live here in Maine, my family is in New York, and I don't know, when I go back there now, it just feels like home, just the area, and obviously being around the majority of my family, just, you can't beat it, family is so important, and I feel like I'm missing that in my life, and I've been missing that in my life for so many years now, and I just need it back. I have friends here, but I don't know. Family's always been important to me, but the older I've gotten, the more important family is to me, so I told, I told everybody, hopefully within the next year, I'll be able to move there, but we'll see what happens. Decision, um, and there's other factors that kind of tie me to Maine that I won't go into detail on. But um, yeah, New York was great. I am happy to be home though. Definitely, you know it. Uh, it just it feels good to be doing something, to be creating, um, you know, making YouTube videos. It's, it's what I love to do, and I love being with you guys and interacting with you, and I'm just so grateful that I'm able to do this, and it's just fantastic, and it wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you so much, <laughs> truly. Um, you know, I, I don't know how to repay you. Something else that's been on my mind lately um, is artificial intelligence. 
was sitting in bed and I had a bowl of popcorn. I ate a bowl of popcorn every night, in case you didn't know that. And I needed something to watch. So I was scrolling through Netflix looking for something and I saw the movie Her. to see like where 
that goes in the next couple years even, probably even in the next year, I mean, uh, the other thing with Sophia is they have like another um, male, like counterpart to her, and um, at a press conference, their like creator, the robot's creator was there, and he was kind of asking them questions, and they were answering but he let them have like their own conversation as well. So they were speaking to each other. Um, and as they were speaking, the, the creator of the robots was kind of like explaining how they work and whatnot. And what he was saying is that the, the robots, they basically use their built-in Wi-Fi access like the internet um, at you know at all times they have that readily available so uh, they use that to like think and function I, I guess um, but what he was saying is that anything that one robot learns or figures out like a new phrase or just anything basically what happens is that information gets transferred to like um, um, the cloud. There's like a robot cloud, I guess. So any new data, any new information that one robot learns, the other robot has access to that information and it immediately knows it. So that's another just absolutely insane thing. I mean, I don't know. I mean, would you would you trust them? I don't know if I would trust them or not. I mean, the Sophia robot is already joking about like trying to dominate the human race and you know take over the human race. So, I mean, will it ever come to a point where they gain their own consciousness and? side things for themselves, you know what I mean? It's just insane. I would love to know what you guys think about it. It's just, it blows my mind. And then I was, um, I was just doing research on, like, um, online and stuff like that, and seeing if there was anything similar to, um, the technology in the movie Her. And I don't think there really is at this point. I saw like an application or two that had um, like a social AI, um, but I don't think they're that extensive or that smart. The only real like, um, I don't know, like substantial or um, reputable app that I saw um, was one, it was called
that movie was great, uh, even though it was a little freaky, a little bizarre. Uh, it was a really good movie. Joaquin Phoenix is a fantastic actor, I think, anyway. He's a little weird, but um, he's a very good actor. And if you haven't seen that movie, I would watch it. It's good. It's kind of... I don't know if I would call it a chick flick, but it's definitely kind of sappy, sad. Um, but there's a lot of, like, good humor in it, too. And it's, you know, just a good, like, warm movie as well. Um, I did. I really enjoyed it. I would give it a 10 out of 10, for sure. I'd watch it again. <sighs> sleep.